Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kezia. This channel is all about panning and today we're going to do the update for flower pan. I haven't done this in several months actually, maybe three months, can it be that long? So it's definitely been a while since I updated you on this. I don't have the best progress, you know, if you see to all the time I had, but it, it is still a good update. So let's get started. This is all about flowers, their meanings and prompts, you know, based on those meanings and of course products that I chose for those prompts. I am working on five prompts at a time and the first one that I've been working on is the Camellia and that stands for destiny is in your hands, a hand product. I chose a big hand gel and if you saw my beauty balance, the latest beauty balance I think, you will have already seen that that was an empty and I have already, you know, placed that in my empties bin, um, like my big one for the whole year and I kind of forgot that, you know, I hadn't updated you on this yet. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was a spoiler and also I don't have it here to show you, but I've already shown you guys that I have actually finished it. Finally, it took such a long time. You guys already know I like soap and water. I don't love this fancy stuff. If I'm going to use a hand gel, I want it to be small so that I can carry it with me, you know, to places where I don't have water and soap, you know? <laughs> But that one isn't empty and that was so nice to have out of my collection. It has been years and years upon years since I bought that one. So that one isn't empty and I used it. The thing is the tallies are a little bit weird on this one since I haven't updated you every month on this one. So I'm not sure how many times, you know, since the last update, but I think this month or last month when I actually finished it, I used it four times and the month before that four times. Um, and anyway, it's an empty. That's all that counts right now. <laughs> then we have the iris and that stands for inspiration and uh, something that inspires you. And I have a palette here that I wanted to do a no pan left behind in. This is the magic palette. I really want to use this, um, as a face palette and, and use kind of only this in a video as like a get ready with me. Like, can you only use eyeshadows as, um, you know, for all your face? And my opinion is yes, you can. Uh, would you like me to show that to you in the upcoming year? Let me know. Like how I use eyeshadow for everything in my face, except for like the see-through items. like. I don't use it as a primer, obviously, but I use it for all the coloring, like on my lips, on my eyelashes, on my eyes, on my cheeks, all of that. So let me know if that's something you would like to see, you know, just as a fun project or a fun video. Anyway, I have had, I think four or five months to do this and I still haven't, I have touched it. So that's good, um, but I've only touched these five shadows up here. That's not great for five months of having it in a project, is it? <laughs> or four, I don't know, but mm, that's not a lot. I'm a little bit embarrassed and uh, I, I have used it a lot before. You can see I have a few pans showing. So it's not that it's not love that I haven't used it at all, but you know, in this project, not so much, <laughs> not so much. So that one is staying. I want to use all of the other shades as well. And the next flower is the Amaryllis that stands for pride. Something that makes you proud, which is just a weird thing to me. Like I'm not proud over makeup, you know? Um, maybe if I knew someone personally who had made that makeup, I would feel proud, but I felt like a goal would make me proud. If I could use up like the hardest makeup product that I know, then I would be like proud of myself, let's say. So I chose a highlighter because I think highlighters are the hardest to pan. And I chose it in a stick form because I've never done that before. And it felt like it would take a long time to finish. So this is a mini, it's from Essence. It's called the Mini Highlighter Stick. 
I don't even know if this has like a name, a shade name. I can't see any. Uh, but this is all I have left. So maybe that's a third of what we started with or something. When I use this, because this is not that impactful, to be honest, it is um, very, very subtle. So I wouldn't really use this as a highlighter on my face, but I have been using it on my chest, on my decollete, on my shoulders, just to have a little bit of shimmer or a little bit of like a sheen, kind of, but not so much as a highlighter. So how many times have I used this one? Nine times and then six times before that. So I guess, you know, the second month was six uses and then nine uses more this month or, you know, last month and this month together. It is what it is. Anyway, my goal is to finish this one. So that one is definitely staying. Then we have the violet, which stands for loyalty or devotion. So of course the prompt is something you're devoted to, something that you wouldn't want to live without. And I love brow pencils. I just love them. Um, this is from Makeup Store. It's a really good shade for me. This is one of the very few items in my collection that I've actually paid full price for, that I actually went to a store to try it out to buy. And that was before I got a lot of eye, eyebrow products right afterwards. <laughs> but I didn't have one. I think, I think I was just finishing off another eyebrow pencil and I just needed another one. So I bought this one and then they kind of rolled in from everywhere in mean, advent calendars and stuff <laughs> so i do have more than one now but i really like this one and i am happy to announce that i have used it 20 times which was my goal so this one is rolling out then we have the hollyhock something i've never heard of before and the meaning of this flower is ambition or goal so the prompt was goals in the beginning of the year i really wanted to finish as many face creams as possible because I have ridiculously many. So I actually chose two face creams for this prompt, although both of them were very small, they were minis. One was very small, it was like seven mils maybe in it, maybe, six mils maybe. <laughs> that was from Yverche and it was the Lifting Vegetal Face Cream. I have gone through several of those before it's a nice product. Would I repurchase? I don't know. Um, I have so many face creams, so I don't have to think about that for a while. And then I have this one from Origins, and this is the Ginseng SPF 40. I really, really like this one. By the way, why I didn't show you the other one was for the same reason that I didn't uh, show you the hand gel. It was in my beauty balance update, and then I didn't kind of separate those things. It's how it goes sometimes. So this one I really like. I hope I get it again. This is slightly tinted to take away all the redness. So it really smooths out the colors. I have been a little bit red lately. So this has worked perfectly for some time and I really enjoyed it, but I did finish it yesterday. So I have finished this one and because I finished both of these face creams, the Hollyhock is rolling out and we're rolling in one new product for that prompt as well. So we have three prompts rolling out, which means three new flowers are coming in. And the first prompt is for the flower Leatrice which stands for joy, happiness, and celebration. Something that you would use for special occasions. That is the prompt. And I don't really have something that I like reserve for special occasions or anything like that, but some products are harder and some products I have something special in mind when I, uh, when I look at them, you know? So for example, I have from Odin's Eye, this is a highlighter palette and it looks like this. And this is so shimmery and glittery and other colors. Like this is a purple one. This is a blue purplish one, I think. This is gold. This is the only one that kind of looks like, like it actually does in the pan. This one is so glittery and goldy. So none of these are actually things that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis, 
they are way too colorful or <laughs> glittery for that. Um, but I would use these whenever I have a show or a sketch in church or, you know, something like that. Or if I just want to play around for you guys and have it on camera because, you know, that the camera actually takes away so much. Today, I don't know how much you can see, but today I'm wearing a very vibrant pink and I have these um, gemstones here. And I just feel like the camera is blending all the colors out. Um, and that you can't actually see how much color I actually have on my face. <laughs> so, especially when I record, I can just go overboard with makeup and I just have to have the guts to do it and maybe not, you know, be around people around filming. <laughs> so maybe a Saturday when I'm home alone and I'm not doing anything except recording, then I can actually go ham on, on all makeup. But I wanna use this 10 times. If I use two of the shades in the same look, that's two uses. If I only use one, it's one use and so on. Uh, I don't really wanna focus on just one of these pans. So I can use whichever I want and just get some more use out of this one. As you can see, the, uh, the mirror cracked. I'm very happy that this is still on this protective film. So I don't have to worry about any splinters and glass bits. So that was for the Leatrice. Then we have begonias that stands for uniqueness, something unique. And I don't really know what is unique or not to the makeup industry or whatever, but this is unique to my collection. This is a powder blush, a loose powder. I think this is the only loose powder I have as a blush and I think I want to empty this into another container because it's so hard to get into this one. Also this brush that you get with it. So first of all, you get this brush and it's actually pretty, it's pretty stiff. So it doesn't feel smooth on your face when using it, which doesn't feel very good. You have this stopper here. So I just feel like it's very hard to use because I can't really reach with any other brush in here. So yeah, I think I will have to empty this into another container, but I do think that this shade is really nice. It's called the Tender Rose or Soft Rose. Tender Rose. It is a little bit more a rosy tone than pink. Oh, I haven't thought how many times I actually want to use this one. Let's say five times uh, to not overwhelm ourselves and to get along on this project because uh, like I said, I haven't updated you guys in a long time and I want to update you a little bit more than, you know, once every quarter. <laughs> I want to go through this. We have a lot of flowers left. And then for the last flower for this month, we have the Alyssum. Never heard of that either. The only one I heard of is the Begonia. So <laughs> those I've heard of, but Alyssum. No. And that stands for worth beyond beauty. And the prompt is something that makes you feel worthy. Like some of these prompts are so weird to me because like makeup doesn't make me feel worthy. But I thought something that makes me feel like I'm worth it Maybe, maybe that's like the closest I can get to it because I have reached two of my goals this year. One is to hit pan in every palette and one is to lower my inventory by at least a hundred items. Because I have done both of those things, I let myself buy whatever I wanted from P. Louise. So I bought everything I wanted from their website. So I thought that was kind of a prize because I had been good throughout the year. So I was worth that prize, let's say. So I wanted to use something that I had bought from there and I thought of this Love Potion Bubble Bath. Now I haven't used these before. I have one other from P. Louise. Uh, I have just started using the P. Louise items that I just received. So <laughs> I haven't tried that much, but what I have tried, I have been very pleasantly surprised by. They have such good quality. It's what I'm wearing today, by the way. Uh, and yeah, I also thought love potion, what makes you feel more worthy than love? 
you know, if someone really loves you, you feel worthy or, or like worth something and like you can feel worthy and have, of course you have worth without that as well. But when somebody sees your worth and, you know, expresses their love for you and stuff, that's at least a situation where I feel like I, I'm worth it to someone else or I'm worthy in someone else's eyes or something. So I thought love potion would be a pretty suitable name as well as the fact that I was worthy of this product because I was meeting my goals. <laughs> so it's it's like a double prompt, like, yeah, something like that. I hope I don't butcher these prompts too much. But yeah, that was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this update and these flowers. Let me know if you have any of these flowers, which one was your favorite of the ones I mentioned today. And hopefully I'll see you in the next update. Have a great evening. Bye.